Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell where you'll see more great tutorials like this. Today we are going to be making a spoon, so we're just going to switch on our screencast keys like I always forget to do. And we're going to go straight in and create a sphere. Uh, dee -dee -dee. Here we go. Okay, let's just bring that over. Oh, I'm in like version 2.9.1, I think it is. Um, and I don't know if you've seen this, but if you go up here to show overlays and tick statistics, you get all your statistics. First, edges, faces, triangles, objects. How cool is that? Just a little thing for you. Anyway, <laughs> let's get cracking on with this. So first of all, Let's just get rid of some of these vertices. So we're going to go to the box select. We're going to go into edit mode first. And then we're going to make sure we're on vertice mode. I'm going to select B for box. And we're just going to go maybe one or two below the halfway line. Oh, we need to do Alt A first. And then box select. Okay, so maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe that one there. And then we're just going to delete. Um, there we go. Um, so that's kind of like our spoon shape. Um, we'll just select all. And we will go to extrude on the Z. Because we just want to bring that down. And come out of edit, go into object, scale on the Z. And just bring it up so it's kind of spoony shape, like so. And then scale out on the Y there, just to give it a little oval shape. Um, now what we're going to do is go into Edit and select um, Faces. One, two, three, four. Maybe five and six. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, so we're going to extrude on the Y, extrude on the Y, come on Y, okay, and what we're going to do now is, I'm just going to put the 3D cursor there, we're going to select all these vertices, one, that, that, okay, we'll just select all these here. And then we're just going to simply align them. To there. So let's just see. And then we will go in to here to 3D cursor, scale Y zero. And then we've got it all in line like that. We're just going to scale it down on the X there to give it a little bit of a um, yeah um, tapered in and uh, let's taper in a little bit more I think. Um, select faces and then we're just going to extrude this on the Y on the Y, I'm just going to sort of bring it up. We're just going to give it like a, a little bit of a spoon shape there. Um, extrude, just bring it up. Um, maybe a little bit more. Extrude, just bring it up a little bit more. And then we want to kind of, well, you know what a spoon looks like. Um, so we're just going to bring that sort of down. Let's, um, objects, set origin to geometry and reset that to bounding a box. Um, okay. So there we go. Um, I think in this one here, we need to maybe bring it down just a smidge. And that one, maybe just bring it up a smidge. Just got to get a nice little curve on it. 
and then just select these faces again um, da, da, and just come along here maybe kind of that long and at the end here we can give it a kind of like a um, like a oval kind of shape we're gonna scale that on the X and just extrude on the Y just scale on the X and extrude on the Y something like that I mean you can design your own pattern if you like there's nothing uh, there's nothing stopping you um, so we're just going to do it on the Y again and I'm just going to scale it in on the X just to bring it all back in um, yeah I'm quite happy with that but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a, a loop cut in here just to kind of bring it up another one in here And then this little lot here, we can um, number two. So number two, stick point A, C. Just need all these here. And underneath, just kind of bring it out there, and we can just kind of bring it down like oh, what's going on there? Oh, I see, um, and bring it over again, kind of like that. Um, what we need to do now is just add a subdivision like so to give it a little bit of a smooth surface a W shade smooth give it some texture just rampart metallic um, roughness you could probably bring that down let's just go into there as you can see there we're starting to get a nice little metal finish there let's just bring that down and then obviously what you can do as well is just add in a plane at least then you'll be able to see your spoon a little bit better and um, we'll just scale that up and bring it on over and then it's sitting there nicely and we we'll just give it whoops <laughs> don't want to do that one we want to do this one so we're just gonna Bring it on over like it's sitting on the surface there. Although that's not quite sitting on the surface, is it? So we'll just bring that down like so. And then up. And there we go. We got a nice little spoon. Nice little spoon. Um, also on here, if I can remember where it is, um, there is, oh, where are you? Where are you, you little rascal? Um, I can't find it. The noising pretty cool denoising based on uh, the GPU um, and it's pretty cool our, our denoising areas so we can change this viewport we've because we got um, Nvidia we can change it to I think it's optics yeah Nvidia GPUs so this like renders it like super fast and you don't get so you know well, you don't get the artifacts you don't get 
we didn't get any noise basically <laughs> it's absolutely the nuts it's so good i was using it on a um archi architectural um job and look at that look whereas if you switch it off you know it takes so long to render that you still got all this noise in here in the shadows I just switch it on all your noise is gone bloody brilliant I love it so I use it all the time now especially for viewport rendering um, but anyway there we go there's our spoon um, I hope you enjoyed the video it was nice and easy today um, give us a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.